2019 BMW M4 review, a bimmer to make you beam. It's hard not to drive an M4 without a rather large smile permanently planted on your face. The BMW's sublime dynamics, 425 horses and 550 newton meters of torque has that effect. Do yourselves a favor and go out and buy an M4 right now. You'll thank me. I'm seriously considering doing the same, the only little detail holding me back is the fact I am just the H425, oh shite of the DH425, oh asking price. Otherwise, this would be mine. I used to have a thing for the M2 which is seriously good, but given the opportunity, I'd opt for this one. It got a bit of a nip and tuck this year with BMW retuning the suspension and improving the steering feel, adding standard LED headlights and taillights and adopting iDrive 6.0 technology with touchscreen display. In fact, I would go as far as saying this is the best proportion bimmer on sale today, I love the sweeping roofline and low, wide stance. It's ever so aggressive. It has a front end featuring a collection of large scoops and vents that look like they could suck up slower moving traffic and then spit them out of the exhausts. The iconic twin kidney grille is present but the best little detail is perhaps the air ducts position behind the front wheels, they give way to a character line which stretches all the way back to the taillights. What's more, this is a mind-blowing performance coupe that probably has far more potential than most will ever get close to exploring, unless you have your own private autobahn in your backyard. Some have suggested that this high-performance two-door is a bit overkill and they may have a point because it sure is wasted on the street. In fact, there were times during my test drive that I felt I was insulting its sheer capabilities by keeping it under 120 km per hour. At that speed, the sublime engine was barely even awake. The M4 needs a racetrack, not a road full of the local constabulary waiting to give you a ticket for your reckless ways. This hot-rodded version of the 4 Series combines incredible sporting capability and luxury in one handsome package. It has the typical M division goodies including bigger brakes and more aggressive styling but at the heart of it all is a powerful twin turbo inline 6 cylinder and it's this that'll plant a rather large grin on your face. The 3.0 liter is mated to a 7 speed dual clutch auto and makes 425 horses and 550 newton meters of torque, which the rear wheels just about manage to handle. Power is one thing. But you've got to be able to translate that onto the road, and this is where the M4 shines. It is 80 kilograms lighter than the previous Gen M3 coupe thanks in part to lightweight carbon fiber roof and it handles with aplomb. The outstanding agility allows you to hustle down curvy roads with your foot floored with the active M differential working its magic to help manage the power delivery and the adoptive M suspension which keeps the bimmer glued to the road. There aren't many sports cars that can bomb through curves with high-strung composure like this one does. It has a multitude of driving modes and these can be intimidating at first sight but once you mix and match the settings for the steering, throttle, suspension, and transmission and find your perfect setup, the F4 begins to feel like a natural extension of you, it's almost telepathic. You'll have a ball with everything in sport but you can dial it all up even further via the handy M buttons on the steering wheel. Around town and in comfort, the ride quality is firm but it's not uncomfortable and the supportive red leather seats mean you can sit behind the wheel for hours without feeling fatigued. And, you wouldn't have thought it but the M4 isn't too bad when it comes to practicality either. It features a pretty decently sized back seat. It is adult friendly and has ample legroom, and it also has a generous boot, 445 liter, though the convertible variant would eat up most of that when the roof is deployed and snowed. Inside, the build quality is flawless and it has some of that stripped down, old school charm of M cars of the past such as a good old manual handbrake and an analog instrument panel but there's plenty of new age tech and kit too including the reversing camera and driver assistance features such as forward collision warning and lane departure warning. Best of all, it has thunderous acceleration coupled with incredible handling and that's why you'll buy this.